you could be forgiven for expecting to find the Purple Emperor in some far-flung exotic location, rather than here in the British Isles. This beautiful insect spends most of its time out of reach, high in the woodland canopy, offering meagre glimpses as it glides and chases rivals, teasing enthusiasts on to seek a better view. Only the males have that gorgeous purple-blue sheen, which is only visible when the light strikes the wings at the right angle. Hence the superb flash of colour as he flicks his wings open and shut. If either of these factors is missing, the sheen disappears, and males, like this one, look like females. Females are larger than males, with stronger white markings. There are similarities with the smaller white admiral, and key differences are discussed in that species' description. This butterfly is confined to deciduous woodland, usually containing oak, sometimes beech, in central southern England. Willows need to be present as well, since eggs are laid singly on sallow leaves. Goat willow is the preferred species. Colonies vary in size, some being very small, with just a few dozen or so adults forming a viable colony. This spectacular butterfly has a single generation each year. The adult emerges in early July, sometimes in the middle of June in good years usually with a peak in the second and third weeks of July. I would advise visiting a well-known site on a weekday, as many enthusiasts will make the pilgrimage to see this species. The sound of shutters firing might give some idea of the Emperor's popularity. It is probably best seen in early morning, and again late afternoon, when luckily, His Majesty, as the male butterfly is affectionately known, will occasionally leave the aphid honeydew it feeds on in the treetops and flutter to the ground. Here he is infamous for his poor taste in sustenance. Moist ground, carrion and the favourite animal droppings of sort. Some of your fellows will try to lure him down from the canopy using all manner of temptations such as banana skins and shrimp paste. Some even have their own secret recipes. If one does fly down, give it time to settle before approaching. Then he can become so engrossed in feeding, he might spend over an hour in the same place. This one was so settled, he was willing to suffer prods and pokes from some over-enthusiastic photographers seeking a shot with open wings. However, patience is the best policy, and with such a close encounter, the characteristic yellow proboscis is a joy to watch as it probes the chosen meal, or is simply furled or unfurled. They are also partial to sweat, and readily land on observers. In late morning, Males will fly off, and ultimately congregate at so-called master trees. These trees are typically oaks, at a high point in the wood, providing a vantage point for intercepting passing females. The same trees are used year after year. Locating a master tree is one of the best ways to catch a glimpse of this elusive insect. Despite a decline in numbers during the last century, the Purple Emperor is thought to be expanding its range again. There is still no room for complacency regarding site management, however. <laughs>